Okay, boys and girls, we're coming back to still talk about shapes. We've identified these shapes based on their number of sides and their number of vertices, which are corners. We've also I, uh, played together and made some patterns with them. And you remember that a pattern is something that repeats itself. And today we're gonna review positional words such as in front of, behind, above, next to, and so on. All right, so pay attention as I put a shape out. And then I want you guys to help me uh, put the shape, a different shape somewhere based on its positional word that I give. All right, so let's start out with the green triangle. All right, you'll notice and remember it has three sides and it has the three vertices. If I said place the circle above the triangle, above. So first you have to go over here, which one is the circle? They're all sorted out, which one is the circle? Had a zero sides and zero vertices, this one, all right? So if I hold this up and I'm looking at the triangle and I said that I want the circle above the triangle, where would it go? Above. Remember, above means up. Awesome, so this is above. This circle is above the triangle. What if I said I want you to find the hexagon and put it next to the green triangle? So if I said find the hexagon and put it next to the triangle, which one is the hexagon? Good job, guys. You remember the hexagon has six sides and it also has six vertices, and remember, the direction was place it next to the green triangle. Next to could be one of two choices. It could be next to the triangle here, or it could be next to the triangle here. Another word for next to is beside. I'm gonna put my hexagon right here next to the green triangle, all right? Remember the quarter was above, the hexagon was next to or beside, and now I want you to find the square. Which shape is the square? Remember, it has four sides that are equal and it has four vertices. Good job, guys. This is the square. So I'm going to have you guys remember to show me now with based on position, if I want the orange square below the triangle, where would you put it? Below, another word for below is under. Under. Awesome job. So if we look at shapes, uh, we played with patterns a little bit, and now we've reviewed some positional words such as above. This was above the green triangle. Beside or next to, the hexagon was. And the square was below the green triangle. So great job, guys, today. Practice these uh, positional words at home. Practice uh, shapes and making patterns. And remember, the way that you identify shapes, again, is based on their number of vertices or corners and their sides. All right, have fun, guys.